Hi, everybody. I'm Jones. And I'm Man. And, and we're, we're Jones, Jones and Man. Man. And tonight, we're bringing back the next expression of one that we loved, Colonel E.H. Taylor, Single Barrel. So I was lucky enough to get my hands on the single barrel. And we ever since we tried the small batch, we were like, oh, we want to try the single barrel. We want to try, um, I, I think I've had a chance to get the rye, but I heard that the rye really wasn't that great. And I've never seen the four grain anywhere. Right. So if I see the four grain, of course, you know, I'll pick that up. Uh, but, you know, same kind of deal. Uh, bottle and bond, I think, means it has to be 100%. Yes. So this is uh, 100, 100 proof, rather. 100 proof, just like the small batch. Mm -hmm. And um, pricing was, I ended up paying about 80 some bucks for the bottle. Uh, with tax and everything, might have pushed it a little bit more. Right. Uh, I think the retail is supposed to be around 60 Similar to the uh, small batch, you typically should find it listed at, I think, like 40 bucks. Around 40, yeah. Normally get it between 40 and 60, yep. depending on where you find it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're all finding these out of North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And because of that, you got to pay the tax. Yeah. And oh, yeah. the, 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 in order to get the availability, you got to pay the tax. That's right. Yeah. And I felt like it wasn't that bad. You know, it's yeah. 60 and then paying, you know, 80 something is, is really, it's, it's not that bad to, to get something that you probably couldn't get your hands yeah. on otherwise. My biggest thing is, what is it going to taste like? Yeah. Is it going to, it, since this is the next step above the small batch, yeah. is this single barrel going to be even better for the 20 Let's say twenty dollar price hike. Yeah. So this is the single barrel where instead of coming from a blend like small batch or uh, just a, a smaller section, this ideally should be the higher quality of the two. And I agree. We're gonna see yeah. if it's if it's if it's enough. That's right. So same kind of container, you know, same kind of waxed bottle. I say let's unless well let me ask you got any uh, additional information that you want to share around. E.H. Taylor's single barrel? Well, you know, we, we also, we've already done the small batch. Right. So if you guys want to go back and definitely check out the video, you'll see some of the history behind the E.H. Taylor line and uh, all that good information. So, yeah, let's check it out. I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, because yeah. You remember uh, in the Blanton's uh, review we did, we actually tried the small batch versus yeah. the Blanton's. Yeah, we did. We did. Okay. So. And with this. Um, the bottle looks identical. Only difference is, I think there's a color. Like, this is more a maroon. And Hold on. Let's let's check it out. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's, both, let's right. go head to head. And as you guys can see, uh, this one has been taste tested <laughs> quite a bit. Well, that's all right. Another one came back with me, so. <laughs> yeah. A Studio East bottle. <laughs> yeah, Studio East bottle. So, yeah. It's just a little bit of coloring in the tinting of the label. So, like, what is that? More like a, a orange? Yeah. And this is more reddish burgundy kind yeah, of? Yeah, kind of maroon. Maroon. Okay, so pretty much the same. I think we'll, we'll work on tasting that maybe. Let's taste this yeah. one first. So, house rules as always. If I can get in this bottle. This one has no preference. Uh oh here we go. Man versus bottle, guys. Yeah, that Best is. Best part of every episode. Well, this one might be a real man versus ball. Because it doesn't have a... Um, there we go. Yeah. Got it. But like I said, I'm really excited because I think Blanton's is also like a single barrel or small batch type of uh, whiskey. Yeah, yeah. So since this is the, the next step above... Oh, um, we're going backwards. Oh, yeah, you can go backwards. Yeah, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. Uh, see, that, I think because... You want to go backwards because you already know you're gonna like it on the rocks. Yeah, I, I, that's that's my normal preference. But we're gonna we're gonna pour us a couple here. Um, we you know we this was just kind of impromptu because yeah. I literally maybe I am an hour or two off stepping off the plane. <laughs> I have, you know haven't shaved in a week because <laughs> um, I've been out of town. 
And I just had the bottles in my bag, and I was like, I'm going to stop by Jones and see what he yeah. says. And you were like, all right, well, let's do it. Yeah, so, and I'm like, hey, let's set up a quick studio. Quick studio, <laughs> and let's go. So this is Studio East B. Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Um, the nose is, to me, the nose is really familiar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with with most, yeah. most Kentucky whiskey. Smells really good, though. It's really, really, fr- really flat, fra- I can't say that word. Fragrant. 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 Really it's fragrant. fragrant. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit of, when you, if you go deep in there, you can get a little alcohol on the yeah. end. But, I mean, the proof is the same, so I don't anticipate it yeah. being any auto. I'm wondering if it's going to be as smooth. Um, like, the small batch, it's 100 proof, but it's not a heavy burn. Right. And so most of them until it really gets down into your chest. So it's like, let's let's try it. Let's huh? let's clink them and drink. Clink them and drink. Them. Now, from what I remember, this one's definitely uh, more heat heavy. Yeah. It's a it's a. Ooh. It is a slow burner. Like, I'm still just really coming out of it right now. I got a lot of flavors in my in my mouth, around my tongue. But it's, uh, that's good though. That is good. That is good. Let's uh let's put that on the put rocks. Put it on the rocks. But this is definitely I'm 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 gonna be interested in tasting the single barrel again because I don't remember that dominant heat yeah. that we're getting. Did I pull you? I pull. Yeah. Just clank them around. Yeah, that that has this this carries a lot of heat too. A lot of heat, and it's crazy because it's the same. And I I, I won't I I'll, I'll hold it until we taste it again. <laughs> But from memory, I get a lot more heat. Um, it's it's stronger and it lasts longer. Yeah, yeah definitely. But it, it has a lot of good flavors to it. Yeah, it, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Now that, that changes a lot of the heat. It takes, I would say, uh, 70% of the heat out. It's a little, there's a little heat kind of still in there. Uh, um, little cherry kind of taste in there. Oh, oh, kind of cherry, woodsy cherry. Yeah, it's, it's very woodsy. Um, hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sip it all because I know what we're gonna do in a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna set it to the side. I'm gonna finish that and. Yeah, uh, I, I, I actually want to do both that way. So, well, believe it or not, I actually had some of this a uh, couple nights ago. So you, you got it, you got it fresh yeah, in your mind. Yeah, I, actually, I, okay. pretty, yeah. I, I haven't actually since the last time, like when we did that Blanton's episode, that was the last time I had uh, any uh, Colonel or any of the small batch. Actually, uh, sorry, I was going to say, actually, you could have poured that in because I brought shot glasses. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I, I'm curious. Uh, before we go, but you can still pour. Mm-hmm. What do we rate this? Um, I really like the flavors of it. Okay, uh, there was a lot of heat on the initial neat sip and shot, but it had good flavor to it. Okay, um, I didn't get as much of the uh, like a, a corn mash. Okay, it, it almost made me wonder if it was like a weeded mash. Okay, because it was uh, sweeter. But it wasn't like a like a rum sweet, right? Right. So, um, and then when you put it on the rocks, it was like, okay, you took the heat off. It's like, wow, this is this is really good. Yeah, yeah. And and it just gets me to thinking, like, hey, what am I gonna mix? You know, what what combination of like cigars can I mix with this, or you know, just anything? Man, it, it that that was it, it was a standout for me. Okay, so. What? Let's put a number would, on it. I would actually give that a four. Okay. Single um, barrel gets a four. Single barrel gets a four. I think small batch may have gotten a three and a half, but the 
the single barrel is much, much better than the small batch. So if they were both side by side in the store, I would have not, I would not have a problem at all paying for the single barrel. Okay. Um, you know, I don't remember what I rated uh, EH. I mean, the um, small batch. I want to say I probably did 3.54, somewhere in that neighborhood. Going off memory, this is bolder. It's got really good character to it. Um, there's some good flavors in there. But I don't necessarily pull enough to rate it more, to say I I, I like this one more. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't really like my first <clears throat> initial taste. It's good. It's definitely a difference. Right. But is it a twenty dollar difference? And for me, uh, it's on the average, I'm gonna, I probably say no. One because while the heat is not bad, I don't think I would. My preference would be to drink it with that heat. Okay. So um, I'm a, I'm gonna say. I don't know what I rated uh, the the single. I mean, the small batch, but I'm gonna say the same. Um, so I'm gonna say well, maybe I think that's a three point five. Okay. Because it's good. It's definitely good without without a doubt to that. Uh, I actually would you be surprised to hear? Think I like the neat Jeez. shot better oh, wow. than on the rocks. On the rocks, it has a little um, funny finish. Yeah. Has a little bit of a funny finish, okay. and it's really this this whole just that neat shot that single pour is is, but I'm gonna say three point five. Stick with it. Now let's get to compare. All right, let's All right. compare. Clink and drink. And yeah, drink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can uh, cause I know we're gonna shoot a little bit, and I had a. Heavy drinking night last night, so I'm gonna uh, pour my half of my shot gotcha. on this. No, on this oh, just, that, just, clean, just give me that clean one right there. Gonna pour that in there as well. Yeah, I, I, I'm tempted right now to say that for me. My preference is a small batch. It's less expensive. It is more in tune to my palate. Uh, I like the character that's in the single barrel. This is more, I mean, it, it's, it's weird, but this one is the better overall of the two. Uh, from, from a complexity, from a flavor, um, Especially if you like the heat. This one has more heat. But for a drinker, for me personally, my personal taste, I'm a small batch guy. Because <clears throat> that's good. But you get that burn in oh, there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I actually, if I'm going to drink this, I'm going to go neat. I'm going to go neat. Mm -hmm. that, it, it's so shocking. I, I, and I swear I was like, he's never going to drink this neat. Yeah, I, I, I go neat. Because, I mean, the heat... While the heat is there, it's not like, oh, you know, like I did one yeah. one time when we were blowing flames. It's not, it wasn't, it wasn't blowing flames kind of heat. It was almost like a, a slow build. Like it, it, it built and it built and it built and it, but then it phased out. So it was a, yeah. a nice, subtle, smooth burn, but she was a burn. Oh, yeah. And the only thing I don't like about this is when you do put it on the rocks, it doesn't finish well. Mm. So I'm gonna tell you that I will, yeah, I will preface mine like this: um, the small batch, I really like as what I would consider my daily drinker. Yeah, yeah, that's easily because it's it's a hundred proof, but it sips. Like a regular 80 proof. Like an 80. Yeah, it does. And it finishes well on ice. So if you're just, you know, a long day, you get home, you want to throw something on the rocks or kind of sip it neat. Yeah. It's great for that. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, that's actually, I've kind of been uh, tipping yeah. and tasting on. Yeah, for sure. For that reason. Um, this one is more of a uh, entertainer for me. 
Yeah. So it definitely puts on more of a show. Yeah, it, it puts on more of a show. It it lets you know that you're drinking a hundred proof. Yeah. Versus maybe even it feels a little bit like yeah, a little bit more. It feels a little more than hundred proof. Uh, but it this is more dressed up. Yeah. So if I'm gonna have some, you know, having company over or like maybe a poker night or something and wanting to give me, give the guys something that they wouldn't necessarily normally get. Yeah. I would definitely break this out, just kind of show off a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Daily drinker, every day, yeah. hands down. And and I think and, and I think uh, in another episode we kind of compared this to the Blantons. Blantons. Yeah. And and to me, because Blantons is very hard to find, single bar scene is very hard to find. You can get the small batch a little more often. Yeah. So, daily drinker, and or if you can find Blantons on on a regular, that would be my daily drinker. Yeah. But they're all really good. Yeah, I definitely would say if you are a overproof drinker, stronger, bolder whiskeys, you're probably going to have a preference for single barrel. Yeah, maybe if you're you, a scotch drinker. Um, maybe. I don't think it's scotch bold, though. No, it's not yeah. scotch It's not bold, scotch bold, but, bold, it, but it, would, it would cheat you out if, yeah, okay. if you couldn't find a good scotch. If you, uh, you like a bourbon, you like a whiskey, but maybe you don't have to have the most, the, the boldest one in the bunch. Mm-hmm. Then small batch is gonna yeah. be for you. So yeah. So uh, I think that I'm gonna, I'm gonna sip the rest of these, <laughs> and we'll decide if we want to shoot some of the other stuff that we've yeah. got. But overall, I mean, the single barrel is definitely a strong performer. I personally don't think it's worth the extra twenty, but you do. I do. Yep. Yeah. So there you got it, folks. Um, be sure to subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, click the bell so that you get all the notifications and everything. And uh, this has been another episode of Jones and Man. Let's clink them and drink them. Clink them and drink them. And we'll see you next time.